So the main topic of this video is determinants. Now, determinants basically are single number representation of square matrices. Of course, that's one of the key things to keep in mind is that determinants can only be calculated for square matrices. So one of the things we need to remember is that when we're talking about determinants, the matrices that we're looking at have to be square matrices. So that's the first thing. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that uh, a determinant is a scalar quantity. So it's a scalar uh, quantity. Okay, so that means that you're going to end up with one number, one number. So for instance, if we look at this matrix, let's call it A, then we say that the determinant of A, written as DET brackets A, or determinant a 1 2 3 4 in this manner in this manner look at notice the straight lines okay notice the straight lines these are not brackets these are straight lines as opposed to these which are square brackets or circular brackets whichever one you prefer so here the determinant in fact is calculated and it turns out to be um, minus 2 now how we calculate the determinant will come to in a minute, but what I need you to understand is that here, uh, this is a single number, is a single scalar value. So we take a, a matrix and we calculate its determinant and the result is a scalar value. So now let's look at how we calculate the determinant. The first thing we'll do is we'll go through cofactor expansions just for knowledge sake. Um, but then we'll look at a much more, uh, which is a very expensive process, in fact. Uh, if we try to implement on a computer, it becomes expensive as the size of the matrix gets larger. Um, therefore, uh, there is an alternate method, and that's a reduction method, which we will also look at. But to start with, let's look at the method called, the, the method, uh, which is the cofactor expansions. So calculating the determinant by cofactor expansion. We begin by noting that the determinant um, of a 2 by 2 matrix uh, A, B, C, D here is in fact A, B minus B, C. This is very important and it forms as a, as a base ingredient for the method of cofactor expansion. But this is clearly defined. So for 2 by 2 matrices, we simply calculate the determinant by calculating A, D minus B, C. Now you will also note that uh, the determinant of a one by one matrix, um, for instance, just A, is just A. Okay, just for the sake of knowledge, I'm just mentioning that. Now, let us move ahead. Uh, before we get to the method, actually, we need to understand certain things. Uh, so we start with minor of entry AIJ. What I mean by that is, if we look at any matrix A. So here is the general matrix, a uh, general square matrix, uh, n n by n matrix. Now, if you notice, when I say minor entry of AIJ, I mean, say for instance, AIJ meaning say A12. That would mean this entry. So any entry in this matrix is represented by the AIJ. So let's see what is the what is the minor of an entry AIJ. So the minor entry AIJ of a matrix A is the uh, is the determinant of the matrix that results when the ith row and jth column have been eliminated from the uh, matrix uh, A. So what I mean by that is, I mean, the best thing is to look at, for instance, an example. If we look at a three by three case, so if we look at this example here, the minor, the minor of a one, two, for instance, a12 would mean the first row and second column. So that means that if we eliminate the ith row, which means the first row, and we eliminate the second column, which means this one, what is left over, the determinant of what's left over gives us the minor entry. Um, okay, the minor entry. We, we denote the minor entry uh, of AIJ by M. I, J. So in this case, it turns out that M, I, J, in this example, it's capital M, is in fact the determinant, okay, it's the determinant 4, 5, 6, 
and 7. So basically, if you look at uh, these entries, so once I've eliminated this column and this row, what's left over is 4, 6, and 5, 7. It's a submatrix. So 4, 6, 5, 7. Now, I can easily calculate um, the determinant of this using the uh, method I showed you earlier for 2 by 2. So it's uh, 28, AD minus BC. So 4, 7 is a 28 minus 30. So it's equal to minus 2. So the minor entry of uh, minor entry M, sorry, this is M, uh, pardon me, pardon me. So this, this we are talking about is M12, pardon me, okay? Please uh, just correct that. This is M12, M12. Okay, so um, so this M12 minor entry uh, or, or related to A12 is minus 2. Let's try another example quickly here. So another example would be, for instance, if the minor, uh, minor of entry A um, 3, 2, for the sake of argument. 3, 2 would mean that, let's let's use brown for this, 3, 2. So that means we're looking at the third uh, row, which is this one here, and the second column, which is the same column. So uh, if we were to eliminate this, what would be left over would be these entries. These entries would be left over. So that means that uh, we would have, in fact, um, M, 3, 2, would be the determinant of 1, 4, 3, 5. And that would be 5 minus 12, which is minus 7. So that would be the minor entry. So this is how we calculate minor entries. OK, let's move on. So the cofactor of entry um, AIJ. So let's see what that is. Very simple. Cofactor of entry um, AIJ is denoted by capital CIJ, and that is basically minus 1, a negative sign to the power I plus J, okay, multiplied by M, the minor entry AIJ. So it's very straightforward. So in the example that we've looked at already, these two examples that are here, uh, we can very quickly calculate um, the cofactor entry for AIJ. So the cofactor of uh, the cofactor of say c the one we've done c12 so c12 would be minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 into m12 so it's equal to 1 plus 2 is 3 is negative so it's just going to be the negative of m12 so it's plus 2 similarly the cofactor of 32 is minus 1 to 3 plus 2 m32 so that's equal to positive 7 so that's, uh, that's how we calculate the cofactors. So now the determinant, uh, the determinant of some matrix A, okay, a square matrix, of course, n by n square matrix A is defined as, in fact, um, along uh, the expand, we have two options. We can, we can do expansions, cofactor expansions along a column, along, say, the jth column, or we can do the cofactor expansion along the ith row. For instance so if I do the along the row for instance what I mean by that is as follows so you we will have choose a row any row you wish and then along that row we will calculate these cofactors and product of cofactor with the entries themselves so that means that we end up with so we end up with this expression here now let me demonstrate with an example uh, if we go back to that same matrix we had earlier, so let's take this matrix A. Uh, uh, now, if I want to calculate the determinant using this, um, the, the, the fixed row, uh, or uh, do the cofactors uh, uh, along the row I, then I need to fix the row. For instance, I'll choose I equals 1 for the sake of argument. So if I'm going to use I equals 1, then the determinant of this matrix, which is uh, 3 by 3, would be determinant of A is equal to A11, C11, plus A12, C12, plus A13, sorry, 13, C13, because N is up to 3. So now, uh, now that I know what the determinant is, now I need to figure out what these uh, pieces are. The A11, A12, and A13 are clearly, uh, you can see in the first row, that's these entries here. But I need to find the cofactors. So let's do that. 
uh, next. So C11 would of course be minus 1 uh, to the 1 plus 1 is 2 M11. Okay, and if I want to find out what M11 is, M11 would happen here, just to show you, it's first column and first row. So that means that it's going to give me this submatrix here, 5757. Five, so that's equal to 5757. Five, okay, minus 1 squared is plus. So that's going to give me 35 minus 35. So it's 0. So that's equal to 0. Then we have C12. C12 is going to be minus 1 cubed into M12. And that's equal to, of course, the submatrix. That's when the second column, that's the second column and first row are eliminated or removed. So that gives us 4765. So we have 4, um, sorry, 4, 5, uh, 1, 2, 1, 2, yeah, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's equal to 4, 7 to 28. Minus 6, 5 is a 30, so equal to minus 2. Okay, and minus 2, uh, that's a negative sign multiplying it. So that'll be plus 2 then. Okay, and next, the last piece, C13, is simply minus 1 to the 4, M13. 1, 3 means um, the third column, first row, so that leaves us with this submatrix here. So that's equal to 4, 6, 5, 7. So that's equal to 4, 7 is um, 28 minus 30 again. So it's the same, but this time it will be negative 2. It's negative 2. Okay. Now we put all the pieces together. So the determinant of A now is equal to A11, the entry, which is 1 times C11, which is 0, plus A12, which is 2, into a um, C12, which is 2, and then plus um, A13, which is 3, times um, C13, which is minus 2. So that turns out to be, that's 0, so it's just 4 minus 6 equals minus 2. So that's the determinant of this matrix. Okay, so um, here's a second uh, version of this, a second way to do this. As I, I've just indicated here, you will notice um, that this, what we did already is along the ith row. This one is along the ith row. This is along the jth column. So we can do a similar thing along the jth column. In this case, you would say, for instance, with the same matrix, you would say, let's fix j at, for instance, um, 2 for the sake of argument. That means that we are going to solve along the second column. Uh, so we're going to do the same problem again. Uh, in this case, uh, what will happen is the determinant uh, for this matrix becomes simply um, A12, C12 plus um, A22, C22 plus A32, C32. Okay, so let's um so let's see the column is fixed this time so c12 is minus 1 cubed m12 we calculated m12 earlier which was 2 so it's minus 2 and then c22 is going to be um now for c22 this is our matrix so c22 means this entry here 5 so that means if we ignore this um second row and the second column so we're left with 1 3 6 7 so let me write that down here. So it's equal to minus 1 to the 4 m22. So m22 is, as I said, it's going to be 1, 1, 6, 3, and 7. So that turns out to be 7 minus 18. That's minus 11. And then we have c32. So C32 means the second column 
and third row so this um, so this row the six seven seven and this column will be ignored so we have one four three five So let's multiply by a negative sign, don't forget. So the minus into minus 7 gives us a plus 7. Alrighty. So now, um, the determinant, let's calculate that. So it's A12. A12 is uh, 1, 2 is 2. 2 times C12 is minus 2. Okay, plus um, A22 is 5. M22 is minus 11. And the last one is A32. And A32 is uh, 5 as well. And multiplied by 7. So that's equal to uh, minus 4. Minus 25 plus 35, and I think we have a problem, Houston. That's a problem. So there's a mistake here. This plus 2, and uh, this should be supposed to be plus 2. We calculated this earlier. C12 was plus 2 before. So just please note that. I'm so sorry about that, but this entry here, this should be 7. So so I'm sorry about that. So this will be uh, plus 4, and this will be here um, 49. So this results minus 2. So uh, the main thing is to keep in mind they should give you the same answer. So sorry about those errors. But anyway, <clears throat> the result turns out to be minus 2 as it was before. So that basically uh, brings us to the end of the cofactor expansion method. We'll next look at the um, uh, reduction method for calculating determinants.